Well, that was an epic fail. Right, so to start this video off, I'm gonna concentrate on this corner here. So it's actually rusty on this outside and the inside as well. So I don't want to start cutting this corner while the rotisserie is on because obviously we're jeopardizing the structure of the car. One thing leads to another. Matt Armstrong BMX E24 is actually on the floor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize this center chassis rail here. So we've got some box section, we'll slide that in, we'll secure it to the car, and then we can actually bring the crane over and then hoist it up from there, and then we can remove the rotisserie, in theory. Right, it's not glorious and it's not elegant, but it does a job. Now, these are basically legs just to stabilize it. These don't do anything else apart from that. They're not taking any weight. They're literally just to stop the car doing that because there is a slight bit of play in the rotisserie. So the rotisserie is locked at that far end. And obviously we've got this here. It's up on the crane, it's taking the weight. We tested it before we took the rotisserie off. Everything is good. So now we're gonna jump inside, well, not physically, but we're gonna get inside there and we're gonna cut a box section out, which will allow us access to get to that repair. Then we can repair that, get it all back together, back on the rotisserie, job's good done. Right, so just so it makes me feel better, I've put that on just to stop any, any of this from either one of them. Like I say, this is taking all the weight.
this car is now going to the secret location. Put your guess in the comments. There's also another secret location afterwards. But we're going to get it off this, off the crane, get it onto the dolly, and then we can load it up on the truck. Right, the transport's just turned up. RD Services Recovery Limited on Facebook and Instagram. Go check him out. He does all of our jobs that we need him to do. Always on time, bada bing, bada boom. So, it's ready to go. We just need to strap it down, get a cover over it, load it up, and then it's on its way. Look at this, she's back. Now a lot of people did guess where this car was going and it was to get a roll cage. Now this is just a half cage, it's not a full cage. Um, and this was 3D scanned inside by SW Motorsport. It was custom built, custom fabricated. And we've also got some custom gussets on the inside as well. So this is a bolt in bolt out cage, so we can remove this. Um, but a lot of people haven't guessed where the car is going next. Now we've got the car back, I'm going to remove this roll cage so I don't damage anything and I'm going to blast this car within an inch of its life to get rid of all the rest of the rust on the front, on the back and then we can continue on the repairs on the back side, on the front side and hopefully get it prepared for paint.
Well, that was an epic fail. Um, the reason I didn't get much footage of that is because I didn't really do much blasting at all. Um, I managed to get a little bit done on that corner over there, and that's it. Um, I've been fighting with the sandblaster for about four hours, five hours. Um, yeah, I just didn't manage to get it on. Um, but, however, silver lining, I've got someone coming on Tuesday. What I'm going to concentrate on now is I'm going to continue this repair on this back section. I'm going to get all that buttoned up and I'm going to get all the grinding and everything else done that I need to do. Um, so hopefully, come Tuesday, we'll get this blasted and it'll be ready. Tuesday night, it'll be ready. Um, so I've still got a lot of work ahead of me. Right, so it's 2.45 a.m. Um, and it's absolutely Baltic in here. <sighs> um, however, I've welded that piece in now, ground it down, got it primed. Now, now, now it's down to these pieces. So this is what I cut off before in the start of the video, I think. And then this is also what I cut off. So I need to, Straighten these tabs out. That basically welds on, on there like that. Um, but I need to cut the bottom of this off and remake the bottom because as you can see, there's, it's non-existent. Um, so this one's good. This one, I'll cut the bottom off, remake that, get it welded together. I need to then put this one in first so I can weld up here and up here. And then I can weld this one in and spot weld it from this side and then obviously weld it all the way around. Boom, let's go. Let's do it, man.
Right, so it's about 20 to 9 in the morning um, and I've spent about four hours just kind of doing a lot of things off camera. So it's kind of come to that point in the project where I'm just trying to get everything finished. Um, so there's just little tiny bits and bobs, there's little bits of rust like here. You know, there's little tiny bits and bobs that I'm just trying to tie up. So now what I'm going to do is I've noticed I'm missing two of the jacking points which go on the sills here. Um, I can't remember which side it is. Um, but I'm going to get a template, I'm going to take the template from obviously the jacking points that I've got, I'll make two new ones, I'll get them welded in and then I'll see what else I've got on the list and just try and get this car across the line. Right, so now these jacking points are done, what I'm going to do now is I've got that lock to take off of the back. I've got a little piece on the end of here to fabricate and I've also got that door jam on the passenger side um, that has got like three or four different little pieces of rust on it um, which have gone through. So I need to sort that and that's going to be a pain to do because they're multi-layered and stuff. The joys.
Right, so I've made those panels, there's probably like four on each side, but they're all kind of layered up and it's difficult to get in there. Um, but I'm not going to weld them in yet because I'm going to get the blasting guy to blast all of this out first and then I'm going to weld them in um, because as you can see they're still rust in there. So I'll get that done um, and then I can weld them in fully. But now I'm going to jump onto that door jam, which I said I was going to do before, but then I got carried away doing this. Right, that's all we've got time for in this video. I did actually make them small pieces, but I wanted to get this uh, sandblasted first before welding them in. Now, the reason why you're all the way over there and I'm all the way over here is because this has actually already been blasted, but you'll have to wait till the next video to actually see that. Now, it's uncovered a lot of stuff that I actually still need to repair, which is fantastic because I literally have no time at all to, to do this. So I'm literally gonna have to pull another all-nighter to get it done. But it's all looking good, it's getting there eventually. Now that's going to be it for this video. Like I say, do check us out in the next video where we uncover all of this stuff that is still left to do down here.